let's understand this scenario first okay so let me create a simple agentic workflow i will add a simple chat trigger then i will select the ai agent uh, i will select the open ai uh, chat gpt model for this as you can see by default this doesn't have any memory to it so if i chat with this agent let's say hello uh, my name is amit it will greet me with my name but if i ask him again what is my name it will not able to answer that why because it doesn't have any memory so what typical way to add the memory is ki just uh, click on memory or either you can select the windows buffer memory or you can also connect your postgres database for that as well so once you click that uh, there is option to select how much messages you want to remember for this conversation context message length okay so what will happen ki this chat model will remember the session history of last let's say 5 messages 10 messages or 15 messages and it will only refer to those conversations uh, while answering the user queries so here is the fundamental problem as our ai memory is not smart it forgets things from one interaction to the next it can't recall previous messages user preferences or important facts established earlier in the conversation or before this context message length right so it having history of only last 5 to 10 uh, user chats only so that's the common limitation and it's exactly what zip is designed to solve so what is zip zip is essentially a long term memory store specifically built for ai applications think of it as an external brain for for your ai agent it doesn't just store message it messages it understands them zip automatically processes conversation extracts meaning summarizes the interactions and makes is this rich contextual information available for your ai agent to use in real time this means your agent can have much more natural context aware conversations because it actually remembers and understand the history okay now how can you use it uh, within your uh, automation workflows like anything it's very simple just remove your existing memory node add the new memory node and just select zip okay so once you select the zip obviously add your api key and it's ready to use in no time and thank you thank you for watching the video let me know in the comments how you are planning to use this don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful thanks for watching have a good day